How you doing? Hey, this is Admin for Plex Guide. So we're just doing a quick video on Watchtower, what it is and what it accomplishes for you. So the thing is, Watchtower just basically will set up when you install Plex Guide originally, but here's options for it. So we're going to go to Watchtower and there's going to be three major options, right? It'll say containers, auto update all, auto update all except Plex and MB and never update. So Watchtower, um, basically, the way it's set up in Plex Guide is that every 600 seconds, it will scour um, the internet for all the containers that you have available, depending on what you pick here. And it will see if there's a new update. If there's a new update, it'll fetch the container, kind of like update and then restart it, right? So I can create some options here for you. So auto update all is pretty much generally safe for everybody, but there are people who never want their containers update. The reason for that is, is because sometimes you end up with botched containers. We learned this a while back ago with NZB Git at one point, or was this app? It was one of the two, but there was like a box and we had to put like a taxi code in the environment. Long story short, it took everybody's containers offline for two days. Um, and then there was a guy named Hosho, you know, special guy. He released an update that he created subfolders, didn't tell nobody, and basically botched everybody's installations. So we here at Sky do not use those containers. We use the ones from Linux server. And we're going to put an auto purge option just to assist you. Um, but basically, his containers um, went to like a subfolder and it botched in everybody's installations. So um, there's a reason why um, having this on all the time is not a great thing. So normally, I leave this on never update. Um, for me personally, if for you always want the latest and greatest container updates, you can go ahead and turn this on. So basically, all you have to do is execute it is, you know, just run this. So we can just say, um, Auto update all except Plex and MB, right? So we're just going to go ahead and pick this option. It's going to deploy Watchtower. And then that's pretty much it. Looks pretty simple, right? So we're going to go into Portainer here. And let me just refresh it. Make sure Watchtower comes up. Here it is. And if we go into it, we should see what it's doing here. So when it's reaching out on the internet, let's see. Now the thing is, it's checking for containers that you don't have also. It's just, it's scanning through all of those. So you may get some error messages. Okay, so it looked like it just came up. But if you look at the log here, don't freak out when you look at it. It's like, can I find, can I find? Because what it's doing is it's just rotating through, it's just rotating through um, all the ones that were mentioned here. And that's basically it. So now you kind of understand the purpose of Watchtower. You know what it is, what it can do for you. So. So you watch tower, GitHub. And the, they pretty much have a, a good generic explanation here for you. So if you ever want to check it out, you ever want to make modifications to it, it's uh, pretty awesome. So it can do some powerful things that beyond the, beyond what we do it for. But other than that, you have an outstanding day.